So picture this. It's the year 77 AD and Pliny the Elder is furiously writing his masterpiece Naturalis Historia. It's an encyclopedia of everything the Roman Empire knows about, well, everything. Fast forward almost 2,000 years and we only have copies of copies of copies. The original is gone, vanished, lost to the relentless march of time, fire, flood, or maybe just a really clumsy librarian. This isn't a unique story. The Great Library of Alexandria, a beacon of ancient knowledge, is now mostly a legend. Its vast collection of scrolls turned to ash and memory. History, you see, is incredibly fragile. It's written on paper that crumbles, stone that erodes, memories that fade. These losses are not just dusty old tragedies, they are gaping holes in our collective story. Think about the countless land deeds, birth certificates, legal documents destroyed in wars or natural disasters, leaving people unable to prove who they are or what they own. Consider indigenous histories, often passed down orally, that vanish when a generation is lost. What if we could create a historical record practically indestructible, unchangeable and accessible to everyone, forever? Okay, so when you hear the word blockchain, your brain might immediately jump to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and get a little fuzzy. And that's fair, but let's set that aside for a moment. At its core, blockchain is much simpler and more profound than just digital money. Imagine a digital notebook. Not a notebook on your desk, a magic notebook shared with thousands of people worldwide. When you write something new in it, like, the Declaration of Independence was signed in 1776, that new entry, the block, gets added. Before the entry is added, a whole network of computers inspects it and agrees it's valid. Once they agree, the entry is linked to the previous one using a super complex cryptographic puzzle, creating a chain. This is the blockchain part. Each block is chained to the one before it and the one after it, forming an unbroken, chronological line. Instead, everyone with access has an identical copy of the entire chain. That makes the notebook incredibly secure. Say a troublemaker, evil historian Steve, wants to change a past entry. Maybe he wants to make it read signed in 1992 by a hamster named Bartholomew. He'd have to change thousands of copies around the world at exactly the same time. And because each block is cryptographically linked to the others, changing one block breaks the chain, and everyone on the network would see the tampering. So in short, blockchain is a decentralized, distributed, immutable ledger. Decentralized, no single person or organization in charge. Distributed, the record is copied across many computers. Immutable, once recorded, extremely difficult to alter or delete. It's like carving information into digital stone, except there aren't one but thousands of identical stone tablets around the globe, all watching each other to make sure no one cheats. This is the fundamental power of blockchain and why it's more than a finance tool. The answer lies in transforming historical records into digital assets that can be secured on a blockchain. For example, National Archives are exploring blockchain to secure sensitive government records. Think about land registries. In many places, land ownership records are a chaotic mess of paper documents. They're vulnerable to fraud, they're vulnerable to corruption, and they're vulnerable to loss. Countries like Sweden have run pilot projects. Countries like Georgia have run pilot projects. These pilots show blockchain can be secure, transparent, and efficient. Result? An incorruptible digital land registry that protects property rights. Museums are also getting in on the act, especially when it comes to art and artifacts. Provenance is everything in the art world. A painting's value depends on who owned it and where it was exhibited. Blockchain offers a way to track provenance. A museum could issue a digital token or an NFT representing a physical sculpture. Each time the sculpture is loaned to another museum, and each time it goes through restoration, that event is recorded on the blockchain. For centuries, the primary method was physical preservation. We built grand libraries, climate-controlled archives, very secure, very expensive, very centralized fortresses. The problem with a fortress is that it has a single point of failure. A fire, an earthquake, a war can wipe out the entire collection. All your historical eggs are in one very well-guarded but ultimately vulnerable basket. Centralization is the key weakness here. Then came the digital age. The ultimate solution? We began scanning everything creating digital copies, storing them on servers. A huge leap forward. Easy duplication and access. But new problems emerged. Digital files can be copied perfectly hard to tell the original files can be altered without a trace. Blockchain flips the model. For one, the technology is still relatively new and complex. Setting up and maintaining a blockchain system requires specialized expertise and significant computational power. 
which can be expensive. For smaller museums or underfunded archives in developing nations, the initial cost and technical barriers can be prohibitively high, potentially creating a new kind of digital divide where only wealthy institutions can afford this level of preservation. Another significant concern is energy consumption. Some of the most secure blockchains, like bitcoins, use energy-heavy verification systems. That requires a massive amount of electricity to power the network of computers that verify transactions. This has a real environmental impact that cannot be ignored. While newer, more energy-efficient blockchain models are being developed, furthermore, there is the garbage-in, garbage-out problem. This makes the initial human verification process critical. The technology is only as good as the data we feed it. Despite these challenges, the promise of blockchain for preserving our history is immense. It offers permanence. It offers security. It offers transparency. As the technology matures, becomes more energy efficient and more user friendly, its potential to protect our collective story will only grow. Preserving the past is not just an academic exercise, it's about ensuring future generations have an accurate, unblemished record of where they came from. It's about justice. It's about identity. It's about truth. By anchoring our history to the unchangeable certainty of the blockchain, we give the future a clearer, more resilient and more trustworthy view of the past. And that is a gift of incredible importance. Moving our collective memory from fragile paper to an unbreakable digital chain. Fundamental change in truth and permanence from trust me to prove it. These early adopters are building infrastructure for a future where our history is more resilient, more transparent and more accessible than ever before. Moving our collective memory from fragile paper to an unbreakable digital chain.